Welcome to Human Endeavors. Today our top 5 will be exploring some of the strangest animals in the animal kingdom. This video will take you on a trip throughout the world to discover animals so odd and rare that many people don't even know they exist. Scientists themselves keep observing new species every year and admit that modern science is not familiar with all of the strange animals existing today. This leaves room to such unique and even bizarre discoveries collected in this video. Here is our top 5 of some of the strangest animals around the world. Let's start off this list at number 5, with the axolotl, the Lazarus of the animal world. This salamander has fascinating healing powers, with an ability to regrow limbs, parts of its brain, and spinal cord. Its feathery gills and lidless eyes are explained by the fact that it remains in larval stage throughout its life. Although the axolotl is colloquially known as a walking fish, it is not a fish, but an amphibian. Their heads are wide, and their eyes are lidless. Their limbs are underdeveloped and possess long, thin digits. The Mexican axolotl is critically endangered and in the wild can only be found in Lake Xochimilco, near Mexico City. As of 2010, Wild axolotls were near extinction due to urbanization in Mexico City and consequent water pollution, as well as the introduction of invasive species such as tilapia and perch. They are currently listed by sites as an endangered species in the wild, with a decreasing population. Axolotls are used extensively in scientific research due to their ability to regenerate limbs. Axolotls were also sold as food in Mexican markets and were a staple in the Aztec diet. At number four, we have the Babarusa. Found in the swamps and rainforests of Indonesian islands, Babarusas have barrel-shaped bodies, balanced on delicate, deer-like legs. The most well-known species of Babarusa is distinguished by its naked body and massive, curving tusks. Babarusas are wild members of the pig family, but they differ from other pigs in several ways. Their snouts are not as specialized as those of other pigs. Babarusas also have complex, two-chambered stomachs, which are more reminiscent of the digestive systems of sheep and other ruminants than those of their fellow pigs. Scientists think Babarusas branched off from the rest of the pig family early in its evolution. Babarusa means pig deer in the Malay language. But what are those tusks for? It's actually a mystery. One hypothesis is that the males use their tusks during fights over females. It seems reasonable until you look at how Babarusas really fight. They don't hook tusks but stand up on their hind legs and box each other with their front hooves. Additionally, Babarusa tusks aren't built to withstand much pressure. They are brittle and easily broken, not at all suited for combat. It seems likely that the tusks serve a display purpose, perhaps signaling genetic fitness to females. But this is an idea that hasn't been tested. For now, the purpose of those marvelous tusks is still a mystery. At number 3, we have the mysterious I.I. The I.I. is a long-fingered lemur, a primate native to Madagascar with rodent-like teeth that perpetually grow and a special thin middle finger. It is the world's largest nocturnal primate. It is characterized by its unusual method of finding food. It taps on trees to find grubs, then gnaws holes in the wood using its forward slanting incisors to create a small hole in which it inserts its narrow middle finger to pull the grubs out. This foraging method is called percussive foraging. From an ecological point of view, the I.I. fills the niche of a woodpecker as it is capable of penetrating wood to extract the invertebrates within. The origin of its name is full of controversy, and many scientists have come up with their own theory. One hypothesis proposed by Simons and Mayers in 2001 is that it derives from her hair, which is Malagasy for I don't know. If correct, then the name might have originated from Malagasy people saying her hair to avoid saying the name of a feared, magical animal. The I.I. lives primarily on the east coast of Madagascar. Its natural habitat is rainforest, but many live in cultivated areas due to deforestation. Rainforest I.I.s are usually sighted above 70 meters altitude. They sleep during the day in nests built in the forks of trees. The I.I. is often viewed as a harbinger of evil and killed on sight. Others believe, if one points its narrowest finger at someone, they are marked for death. Some say that the appearance of an I.I. in a village predicts the death of a villager, and the only way to prevent this is to kill it. The Sakhalova people go so far as to claim I.I. sneak into houses through the thatched roofs and murder the sleeping occupants by using their middle finger to puncture the victim's aorta. At number two, we have the pangolin. If an anteater and an armadillo had a baby, it might look something like the pangolin, an odd-looking mammal found throughout parts of Asia and Africa. 
The name pangolin also comes from the Malay word penguling, meaning one who rolls up. The pangolin has a long, specially adapted tongue for eating ants and termites, and wears a protective keratin shell. It is the only mammal known to have this adaptation. They tend to be solitary animals, meeting only to mate and produce a litter of one to three offspring, which they raise for about two years. Most pangolins are nocturnal animals, which use their well-developed sense of smell to find insects. The long-tailed pangolin is also active by day, while other species of pangolins spend most of the daytime sleeping curled up into a ball. Pangolins have very poor vision, so they rely heavily on smell and hearing. Pangolins also lack teeth, therefore they have evolved other physical characteristics to help them eat ants and termites. Sadly, its unique characteristics also make it the most trafficked mammal in the world, as it is highly sought after for its meat and armor. Pangolins are threatened by poaching for their meat and scales, which are used in Chinese traditional medicine for a variety of ailments including excessive anxiety and hysterical crying in children, women thought to be possessed by devils and ogres, malarial fever, and deafness. At our number spot, we have the oddly looking, smooth head blobfish, also known simply as blobfish, is a deep sea fish. It inhabits the deep waters off the coasts of mainland Australia and Tasmania, as well as the waters of New Zealand. Blobfish are typically shorter than 30 centimeters. They live at depths between 600 and 1200 meters where the pressure is 60 to 120 times as great as at sea level, which would likely make gas bladders inefficient for maintaining buoyancy. Instead, the flesh of the blobfish is primarily a gelatinous mass, with a density slightly less than water. This allows the fish to float above the sea floor, without expending energy on swimming. Its relative lack of muscle is not a disadvantage as it primarily swallows edible matter that floats in front of it such as deep ocean crustaceans. Little is known of its behavior because of the difficulty of observing it in its natural habitat. Blobfish are often caught as bycatch in bottom trawling nets. The popular impression of the blobfish as bulbous and gelatinous is partially an artifact of the decompression damage done to specimens when they are brought to the surface from the extreme depths in which they live. That is it for the video. I hope you learned something new about some of the strangest and most mysterious animals on Earth. With scientific and technological advancements, scientists are yet to discover more species unknown to the human eye. One thing is sure, we will surely be discovering more mysterious and strange animals in the near future and will continue to fascinate us. This channel posts videos every single weekday so please subscribe if you want to learn more about human endeavors.